What's up everybody, I'm Thrash Maniac HD back here with your NXT review for October 23rd, 2013. And um, before I get into it, I just want to say a couple things. First, I know you guys were expecting the newest episode of Versus, and I just keep forgetting to do it. Um, I'm going to do it um, after this video, so... After this video is posted, the new episode of Versus will be posted, so there you go there. And second of all, this week's NXT episode, eh, it was a good show. I mean, there was some stuff that was just there, but you had some good stuff too. And without further ado, let's get into this review, shall we? Alright, so we start off the show with a recap of the heel turn, the big shocking moment, one of the big shocking moments from last week, Corey Graves turning heel after uh, he and Adrian Neville lost their rematch for the tag tiles to the Ascension, and Corey took out uh, Neville, and then after the recap, Corey Graves is on the stage and he's saying, people are wanting to know why I did what I did to Adrian Neville. And then Neville comes in, boom, and then he just starts pounding the hell out of Corey into this big brawl. I thought this was a fantastic start to the show. And, uh, yeah, that was how the show started. Now we get to the first match of the show, which was Emma versus Sasha Banks. This match was a good Divas match. Um... And again, the whole feud with Paige and Emma against Summer Rae, Sasha Banks, like I said before, it's far from over. And again, it's far from over after what happened here. Summer Rae tried to interfere as Emma was going for uh, going for a submission hold. Summer Rae's on the apron distracting Emma. Then Paige comes out, pulls down Summer Rae, but Sasha Banks took advantage, rolled Emma up, one, two, three, Sasha Banks beat Emma, but then Paige comes in to try to attack Sasha. Sasha ducks, and Paige accidentally hit Emma. So, yeah, that's how that happened. But yeah, Emma and Sasha Banks had a, a good Divas match. Then we get a little exclusive interview from the end of last week's episode with Bo Dallas, the NXT champion, and... Talk about a tool. <laughs> Freaking Bo Dallas is saying, I'm taking a vacation. Going to Bolivia to give 10,000 squirt guns to starving children. I'm like, that makes no sense. And stuff like that. So, yeah, like I said, talk about a tool. <laughs> um, but then we get to the next match, which is two local guys going head-to-head -head against... The NXT Tag Champions, The Ascension. This match was essentially just a great squash match to build The Ascension up more, but right now with the NXT Tag Team division, now that Graves and Neville are no longer together, I don't know who could go after The Ascension. Maybe Enzo Mori and Colin Cassidy or Alexander Rusev, Scott Dawson. Either one of those, well, one of those two teams is going to get a chance, probably Amori and Cassidy since they kind of have unfinished business with the Ascension anyways. So there you go with that. Now we get another exclusive interview from the end of last week, this time with Sami Zayn. And Sami Zayn, they asked him, thoughts on the whole thing with JBL restarting the match? He's like, I I actually appreciated what JBL did because clearly Bo Dallas' foot was on the rope, but I don't agree with him restarting the match or not restarting the match after I got hit into the turnbuckle, exposed. And then he brings up how it's similar to what's going on on the main roster with Triple H doing this to Daniel Bryan. He's like, it seems to me that the big powerful guys are trying to bring us small guys down. I thought that was a really good saying from Sami Zayn. Um, then we get, afterwards, we get a JBL interview, which was a really good interview. And JBL said, until Sami Zayn apologizes or when we feel like bringing him back, he's not going to be here on NXT. So basically it's him suspending Sami Zayn until either Sami apologizes or they feel like bringing him back. This is going to be interesting to see. And then he brings up how 
Triple H does what's best for business and stuff like that. And he's like, and I'm not going to have the NXT era of the wrestling god be controversial in the beginning. Still was either way, but you, I get what he was saying. Um, now we move on to the next match. CJ Parker versus Alexander Rusev. This match was what it was. Alexander Rusev won. But then when we come back from commercial, during the break, Tyler Breeze comes out and attacks CJ Parker again. Their feud's far from over. Attacks CJ Parker, cuts off two of his dreadlocks, and then takes back his phone because last week CJ Parker took Tyler Breeze's phone away. This time Breeze got his payback, cut two dreadlocks off of CJ Parker, and took back his phone. And now we get two matches announced for next week. We get the third match between Tyler Breeze and CJ Parker. And the second match I've seen between Paige and Summer Rae, although it's not for the NXT women's title. It's just going to be a regular match. Because Emma, to me, she's been a little overdue for another shot at Paige. Because really, Emma was the true number one contender until Summer Rae took her out for a week. So Emma's due for a title shot at some point. But we'll see how all that goes. Now we get to the main event of the evening. Adrian Neville versus Corey Graves. This was match tonight. This was a really damn good match. And this feud is definitely far from over. Because throughout most of the match, Corey Graves was going after Adrian Neville's knee. Then he locked in the lucky 13 on Adrian Neville. And then <laughs> tap out. And Corey Graves wins the match. And then as the show ended... Corey Graves met up with uh, Adrian Neville on the ramp and locked in Lucky 13 again on Adrian Neville, this time on the ramp. So basically this feud's going to go on, and this is going to be an interesting feud because these are two really good wrestlers. Adrian Neville's such a good superstar over in NXT. I mean, from his indie days when he was Pac in like PWG and stuff like that, this guy has potential. Corey Graves has potential too, and this feud's going to be really cool to see. And overall, that does it for this week's episode of NXT. Overall, it was a good episode. Match of the night by far was Corey Graves, Adrian Neville in the main event. And if you guys want to check out this week's episode, link is in the description box for you to check out. And like I said in the beginning of the video, my new episode of Versus, which is wrestling related this time, that's coming up right after this video. But anyways, guys, peace.